Good afternoon everyone from a bright, cold and sunny high tea. I thought I'd pop on, I've got a couple of minutes before the, the banging and the sawing and the chopping starts again upstairs to introduce to you my new CD, Loved. That's the attic the way it used to be. <clears throat> Graphic design has again been done by Callum Haddon at Burns. Done a beautiful, beautiful job of it. There you go, trifold. Then the left hand side is the customary lyric booklet. All the words of all the songs and a nice photo up in the attic as it used to be taken by Angela. And on the other side, the loved CD. And it's got all the usual stuff, <coughs> the team that was involved, some thanks and a list of the tracks. <coughs> excuse me um it's come with a heading under the heading loved because all the tracks on the album have this running through it in some shape or form the crofter it's about a love of a way of life uh, and the land abandoned homes is about houses that were loved at one point and then a and a memory a week that was uh, an Indian summer we had way back in the in the early seventies in Stornoway, and um, myself from my brother having missed a Mitchell's bus down to the Bride decided to walk down, and we arrived there just in time to see a har coming off the sea, and that was the end of the summer. Uh, Night of the Isle there. Thanks to Mark Macdonald um, for allowing me to to write that song based on the stories in his book The Cruelest Dawn, the Tumbling Waltz. Could only be about one person. That's my wife Angela. <coughs> Saturday Cowboys, Country and Western, uh, how we all became cow cowboys on a Saturday afternoon after watching the matinee and BBC. The Map Maker, that's a, a lovely old gentleman I met in Kippen who used to dress in Harris tweed jacket, waistcoat, shirt and tie every night for, his, for a meal. Turned out he was a map maker and he did it the old fashioned way in Canada throughout his career. Lovely, lovely old man. Daisy in December. Again, that could only be about one person. Ain't Like Scotland. Joe McMahon will, will recognise that title. Um, it was something we did for a Creative Scotland brief at a course a few years ago. And it's like, um, wherever myself and Angela are abroad, and we say, look at something, and we'll say, ah, that's really nice. One of us will say, aye, but it ain't like Scotland. <laughs> Remembering St Kilda, that's based on a paragraph uh, in Tom Steele's 1965 book, The Life and Death of St Kilda. Uh, Big Red, uh, everybody from the islands of a certain age listening to this will know all about Big Red. Um, and then it finishes off with Lullaby, um, which is about that time in your life, uh, if you're a parent, when... The most important thing in the world is getting your baby to sleep and then getting out of the room before they wake up again. So that's the songs on there. I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, the guys I have on this, Anna Massey, Alan Train, Ian Sandilands, Angus Lyon, Susie Wall and Ruby. And I'm oh, just so privileged to be able to work with folks of that ability. Um, they were all on Torn with the exception of Ian and Ruby who have come in for this one. Ian, uh, amongst other things, is the percussionist with the Scottish National Orchestra and watching him in the studio and what he brings to a song, especially The Night of the Islayer, is just phenomenal. And if you listen to The Night of the Islayer, I would recommend listening with headphones because the timpani drums part he's got on there is just phenomenal. And he's tried to mimic the pattern of the waves um, and then Ruby I, did, I met Ruby um, through one of Michael McMillan's sessions on a Sunday in Busby and um, she's got this wonderfully authentic uh, country voice so there's two country songs in it so I thought um, she would um, bring something extra to there apart from that it's all the usual folk there we go loved um, with Torn and Stornoway quite a lot of you ordered it for folks abroad like loved ones <laughs> abroad um, if you think it would make a nice christmas present for anybody on the mainland or uh, abroad um, 
just let me know and what I can do is I can wrap it in Christmas paper, put a nice wee gift card on it and post it direct um, if you're early enough. So rather than me sending it to you for you to post on to them, just let me know where you want to post it and if it's a Christmas gift, what you want me to write in the card. Um, and you can do that through the comments section when you order it. Uh, so you can order it through my own website, um, www.normanpatterson.com. That's for the CD. If you like the idea of the CD and to be able to stream it, just go to my Bandcamp page. And if you buy the CD, you'll get the streaming automatically. Uh, third way, if you like to buy it in the real world, it'll be an arm launcher. That's from Saturday. And if you want to buy the trilogy, Loved, Stornoway, and Torn, just send me a personal message and we can do a deal. Loads of that one left because like everybody that makes a CD knows, you always overorder your first one. Running very short in Stornoway, but I've still got some left and I've got about 400 of these. So finally, I'd just like to say thanks to everybody that supported me from day one you've all been so really kind and encouraging and if you told me three years ago i would be doing this i'd have thought you were absolutely bonkers uh, if you're not doing anything on friday at seven o'clock i'll be posting out a link um, to a listening party on bandcamp and what that is very simply is if you click the link at seven o'clock on friday night you can listen to the whole of that uninterrupted, no video, just a simple playing of the tracks. You don't need a Bandcamp account to listen in, um, but if you do have a Bandcamp account, there'll be a chat section there where you can ask me and the other folks just any questions about the lyrics, and the arrangements, anything, or tell us what you think of it. Um, but more about that later. But for now, thanks as always. Bye.